defeat Russia and break Putin's regime. This is the motivation of hundreds of Russian citizens who are fighting against the Russian invaders as part of the Ukrainian army, in particular the Russian Volunteer Corps. This is a military political formation which consists of ethnic Russians living in Ukraine. The division was officially created in August 2022, but even before that the members of the corps fight against the so-called Russian world. There are those in our unit who have been taking part in the confrontation between Ukraine and the Russian Federation since 2014. There are those who managed to prove themselves during the Maidan. Therefore, it would be wrong to say that only since August our unit has been fighting. On the contrary, we have been looking in every possible way for opportunities to fight for Ukraine against the Kremlin regime since the 24th of February. According to the soldiers, only volunteers serve in this corps. At the moment there are several dozen. They are ready to consider new candidates. But they warn that they will carefully check whether the candidate works for the Russian special services, as well as evaluate combat experience. We put our lives and health on the line because we think it is right to fight for Ukraine. In fact, this is a battle for our own future because we sincerely believe that the collapse of the Russian regime will allow us to return home. Another Russian division of the armed forces of Ukraine is the Legion of Freedom of Russia. It was formed in March 2022, mainly from Russian prisoners of war and volunteers who defected to Ukraine. There are several hundreds well-armed soldiers in the Legion, the command reports. There are also many recruits who are already in full combat readiness waiting for orders. I am sergeant of special I am a special forces sergeant who, like everyone else, was sent to the exercises. As it turned out later, we were tricked into the war. I saw how the Russian army used Ukrainian civilians as human shields. Then I decided not to engage in battle with the armed forces of Ukraine, to surrender. In captivity I learned about the legion and joined it. They looked at us, they checked us. At first it all started with small tasks without weapons. After trust grew and the tasks were more complex and already with weapons. Interest among Russians in the Legion Freedom of Russia increased sharply after Putin announced a partial mobilization. More than 5,000 people applied to join. In general, all Russian units in Ukraine intend not only to help win the war with Russia, but also to overthrow the Kremlin regime. For us, in any case, one of the victory factors is the dismantling of this regime. That is, for us, the war does not end with reaching the borders of 1991. For us, the war will end when this regime disappears. After the candidates have passed the multi-level selection and testing, they are additionally trained to handle new weapons. All combat formations communicate with each other and exchange experience. Reported by Roman Smoller, Vlada Tsurkan, UATV News.